Today on Make a Ticket Outdoors, we're not going to talk about how my garden is out of control, but we are going to make a mount for the accessory rail on my kayak for my Garmin Striker 4 Plus. Stay tuned. All right, the way this works is this is the main mount. The Garmin clips onto it, like so. I'm doing this backwards so you guys can me. Ah. That's funny. All right, so it clips in like so. This this slides in here, okay? And this usually gets mounted via these three screws into a piece of wood or your transom. Well, not your transom, but your... Uh, some people, like in John Boats, will put it on their seat. Uh, you can put this on your gunnel. But I don't want to do that. I want to put this on the uh, rails on the side. So I was going to take a just trace this around on a piece of wood cut out a disc and go from there um and that was gonna work however when i was going back to grab something in the office i thought oh shoot why did i put that there and it wasn't this it was that it's a hockey puck so what we're gonna do is we're going to mount this on here we're going to take the toilet bowl bolt up and through, and I, I double checked. You can put this over top, like here, and then push it in, because if that was sticking up through there, you couldn't just slide this on. But I think this is going to work. Um, also, there's a lot of space up here, so I don't have to worry about cutting the uh, bolt or anything. First of all, I'm going to take my garmin off here. And we're going to figure this out. Hold on. First thing I probably should do is go ahead and drill that hole in the middle so the bolt can come up through. It's probably not the best drill bit for this, but it's the only one I had those right size. Definitely not the best drill. Be right back. All right, back. Found a regular drill bit. It's not the size I want. Keyless chucks are nice sometimes. I'm not real good with them. I prefer just having the old chuck style and you know, just crank it down. All right, that should do there. File that. Oh, just broke off. Cool. Toilet bowl will come up from here. We're good. Now, in order to put these screws into the hockey puck, I'm going to drill some pilot holes. I'm also going to drill a pilot hole for that center one. Sort of center one. So the mounting stuff came with these three screws. 
which is about the perfect length. Actually, we'll clean up the mess before I go on. All right, we're back. It's not going anywhere. And it actually does a pretty decent hole. I was worried it would just squish back in on itself. But, what do I know? I only have the right drill bits. <laughs> All right, so this doesn't go off. Just got put a nylon nut on there. All right, see you. Let's make sure this is going to go together. <gasps> Look at that. Okay, there it is. There it's not. Look how far it goes up. This is cool. It's very cool. Well, I guess it's time to go test it. See if it'll go on there right. Okay, big dumb me. One of the things I was going to do was put tea nuts in this, and in my excitement, I completely forgot. So let's take this back apart. this out and put a tea nut in there. So what the tea nut will do is provide a place for the bolt to go up in. Let's turn this hole out a little bit. Right back, I gotta go hammer that in. All right, let's reignite that excitement. There's a bunch of mess, it'll have to stay there. Now, this is how it's going to tighten down. This will go all the way up through. Put this nut back on. And I'll tighten that up in a little bit more. All right, now let's go outside. All right, so here's a big test. It's in the rail. Now I just gotta turn it, tighten the whole thing up. We're there. I can then move this around up, down, so I can see it from my seat. Probably go that way. Holy moly! It worked. Huh? <laughs> That's cool. And then they'll loosen up. You just go counterclockwise. Out she comes. Um, yeah, this is kind of cool. So, go mount that there. Um, 
Now I gotta figure out how to do my battery case and my transducer, but that's gonna be a different day. All right, I'm pretty happy with that. Um, this is gonna work out well. Next up is getting the battery hooked up and everything and a transducer hooked up. I'm gonna run the transducer through the uh, scupper hole. So I got a couple ideas for that. I just gotta run the Menards real quick. Well, this is that part where I say subscribe, like, all that good stuff. I really hope you didn't enjoy this. Yeah, I, I've i never said I was a handy guy. Um, it would be great to have a drill press, and I could have measured this out a little bit more. It is a little bit off kilter. Just a little bit. But then again, I'm off kilter. Have a great day, and tight lines.